It's me alone today. Okay. Um, I'm always worried that I didn't do it right. But, uh, it's me, myself, and I. Michelle is, uh, out this morning doing some work from home. She'll be here later this afternoon. And, um, good morning, Betty. Um, I don't have a ton to share with you today. Um, I got my oh so, no, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Got my Shout Hooray fabric kits yesterday. So I'm hoping I will get uh, CDs and embellishment kits. So if you order that, part of them will probably go out to, there's a lot. So um, Ryan and I will work to get those out. Part of them will go out today, depending on when they show up, and then the rest will go out probably on Tuesday when the rest of those show up. So um, those are coming, and then I'm trying to think what what else. I just do my, my equivalent of A1's Amazon fulfillment, and um, we'll just get all that stuff going. Talk to Patrick today, and... Uh, he is, um, I think they did an excellent bike ride yesterday, and then he is going to be, I think they're riding again today. Hello from Sudsbury. Hi, Miss Ann Scott. And um, Miss Brenda, I'll see your husband later on today. Hooray goodies. Yeah, if you still want to do Shout Hooray, I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. Because I've been looking at it, and I was like, I just can't do it. I don't have the time. But I've been looking at it. Well, what I do is I do the top. I still haven't finished. That's bad. I still haven't finished two scoops. I think um, I'll finish it. And then I should probably show you how I how I finish it on the serger. Uh, because everyone should get a serger. Just so you can finish your Kimberbell pillows with piping. Because uh, that's how I do those. Um... Okay, that is what saves me in the middle of the day, right there. Those peanut butter pretzels, those save me. Because when I don't have time to eat, I just start eating peanut butter pretzels. And I think they're really, actually really bad for you when you eat them as your meal. But uh, they're so good and they fill me up. Um, Yes, one day countdown to Taylor Swift. I'm feeling prepared. Violet trained me on what songs will and will not be performed and I know what entrance to go in we are showing up at 2 30 doors don't even open until 4 30 and I think that made Violet happy that I was like let's go early so we don't have to worry about anything we're going early because we are trying to go buy swag because we've heard that it just sells out can you believe that like I mean, the, the sweatshirts are like, I mean, it doesn't seem like, you know, I look at the prices of everything, like 65 bucks for a crew neck. That's what Violet wants. So, and we know exactly which one we're going to get. And um, she and I will just, we have so much fun together. Don't, it's so special, right? It's so special when your kids get to be a certain age and then you, you're a parent but you're you're like friends too like you can laugh together and you know so um so it's nice you know the kids like hi and violet like this age like there's times where you're just hanging out and just laughing and having fun together and uh it's just special so um hundreds of people going through the are we talking airport here in reno because i i fly out i fly out tonight six fifty. So I am leaving right at 4 o'clock. At 4 o'clock, I'm out the door because I did not finish packing. Last night, I got home, and Violet and I had dinner. And um, and then I just we were cleaning, and I was organizing for the – we have a dog sitter that's going to be staying with um, with Poppy and Momo today. Um, I heard that you could get merch online, but Violet said what she wanted wasn't offered online. Uh Serger one. Serger one. 
Serger. So unfortunately, when we do Serger classes, I have a Serger 1 class that's going to be coming up. I think it's April 6th. I only do the brothers, I mean, sorry, the baby lock Serger because they're so easy to thread. They have jet air threading. Um, I do private, or I used to when I had more time, I used to do private Serger classes in the store and I would do whatever Serger you brought to me. However, sometimes it would take us 15 minutes 20 minutes, 30, 30 minutes to just get the thing threaded and like a stitch that kind of made sense. So um, how did we get in sergers? Was I talking about it? I don't even remember. So we are, um, so, and at this point I'm, I'm too busy. I don't even do like very many private classes anymore. But, um, but the serger classes we do, when I do serger one, it's baby lock sergers only because they have the jet air threading and most of them have the automatic tension, although I can help you manually tension it. And um, nice paperweight. And, uh, but for regular serger classes, like the project classes, you can be on any serger as long as you're proficient on that serger. So um, yes, the evolution's amazing. The triumph's amazing. Um, I hope to bring you more. Oh, I know why. Because we were talking about um, about doing the finishing the pillows. Uh, if you have a brother serger, as long as you have a, and I, I can probably get you feet, um, as long as you have a five millimeter cording foot or any type of cording foot. Cording, I guess maybe they might call it piping, depending on what you have. Uh, then you can, you could, make the piping with us and you could probably even do it with a regular foot if you kind of know what you're doing and you know where to place your fabric and you know what kind of cording to use um yes heather i've come full circle just took me a minute so um i thought because i have a lot to do because i'm going to be working to get as much out to you as i can today and ryan's only here for a half day and um none of the other gals are going to be here it's just I think it's me and Jax and hopefully Alex. Um, I thought we would just make this short and sweet and we would get on and we would do a giveaway. This morning as I was waking up with Poppy attacking me and Momo barking and Poppy hitting the door and me trying to sleep, I started thinking about like what questions that we could ask and something that might be interesting for us. And I kind of feel like I know what my answer is going to be. Cheryl, you, I mean, I love making, let me see if I have one. Okay, I'm going to grab one. Don't look at my mess here because I laid it out because I have all this stuff that I'm going to be doing. But I'm going to grab one right now so you can see it. Here we go. Usually I do a, a serger class. Hang on. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do one. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So um, my very first Kimberbell bench pillow I did was uh, the Valentine's one, and when I did the front and the back, I just sewed it together. Laid front on the back, sewed it together, turned it inside out, and that was it. I always do my pillows with piping because it just makes it look more special and you can make any custom piping that you want with the cording foot. So doesn't that, I mean, that just makes it more, there's just, it looks more professional, looks more finished. Um, so I do a serger class and we'll have to put one on the calendar showing you how to put a zipper in with that cording foot. And that cording foot is, I, I equate it to when you go to the drive through um, the car wash, the drive through car wash, and you get your tire in that groove, and then it just takes you right through. That's what that cording foot is like. It has a groove in it, and you put your zipper in it, or you can put cording in it, and uh, once you wrap it, then it becomes piping, if I understand that correctly. So this could be a regular plain old boring pillow, but we did the zipper, 
with the cording foot and then we added the custom piping and I add and you can look at your Kimberbell pillow and then you can compare it to my Kimberbell pillow and here's the pillow this one is the um, lucky or is it the luck of the gnome and I just did like black po polka dot cording on this one or piping it just makes a difference so um, I think what we'll do then is with the, it does, Shelly, you're going to love it. Shelly just got a serger. Um, why don't we do, I'm so fancy. <laughs> I'm so not fancy, but my pillows are. But my Kimberbell pillows are fancy because I made custom piping on it. So, um, yeah, it's beautiful, and it's so easy to do, and it just pops it up a level, right? Makes it just like, oh, it looks nice, too. <gasps> oh, my goodness. You did that? So that's what happens to your pillow when you add that on. So um, I'll probably do a class. It's a, it's like a, um, a two-hour class. And um, I'll show you how to do both of those two things. And good time to get a serger. Wait, wait a couple weeks because we're going to have some special pricing. Um, do I have the recorded? I do. And it's it'll probably be a paid class. So I do have it. But um, and if you want to do it now, I can send you the recording. You can always pay for a class. Um, the class is 15 bucks. And then we can just send it to you so you don't have to wait and then I can put you in a live class but how about we go ahead and schedule that I will put one on here um I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until the shout hooray pillow is done because I'm gonna then we'll do a class on um doing a Kimberbell pillow with piping should we do a zipper do you think we should get a do you think we should get like a super long zipper I know some people like to do that should we do a zipper? It's, should that be the class where we do zipper on the back of the pillow and then the cording? Because we're going to need what? Like um, that's 38 inches. And I like to have like four and four, four, eight, 38, 46 inches. Can I get a zipper that big? Do they make them? I don't know. Okay. So we will schedule that because yes, we'll go ahead and schedule that. <laughs> zipper and piping. Do they make zippers that big? Because maybe what I should do is get them and then throw them in with your, um, should we throw them? Will the serger class be, it'll be virtual. Yeah, it'll be virtual. Oh, look, I can get you, um, we can do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to order them today. Let me look at, I'm going to look at the fabric kit and I'm going to order, uh, I'm going to order 48 inch zippers. You want a little bit bigger and I rather have you have five inches on either side so we can play with that. So I'm going to look at the backing fabric today and if you're good with it, I'm not going to, uh, it, I get these zippers super fast because we have a distribution center here in Reno. So I'll order the zippers and then if anyone wants it, you can send me a note. Zipper by the yard. Yeah, zipper by the yard. We can do that too. Um, I'll order a gorgeous color. <laughs> they don't even have any available. I'll see what color I can get. That's going to go. Because we need at least, we need that 48-inch zipper. And then, uh, Cheryl, you're right. I'll see if I can get, and then we can learn that skill too, like putting the zipper, the zipper um, pull on. Would like the idea of zipper backs. They rip when you put in the form. Okay, we're going to, so if you are doing this, and it doesn't have to be this bench pillow, and it doesn't have to be a bench pillow at all, we'll just make it though, so I'll schedule the class for after we do this so long the bench pillow is done, but if you have any pillow or you just want to do whole cloth, I'll make it so you can do whole cloth, but I am going to order some zipper tape and some pulls so they'll work for the shout hooray, because I know a lot of people are going to be doing that, and I'm going to be doing that, and that's going to be my first that will be my first bench pillow because we haven't done a bench pillow in quite a while. So that will be the first one. And yes, Sarah, come live in the store. All right. So uh, let's go ahead. I, 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 um, I just wanted to do, we're going to do our giveaway. And I am going to, I just was thinking we could give away. Um, hang on just a second. I'm going to grab it over here. 
We're gonna give another one of these away, which I absolutely love. I should keep this. Because what it, what happens when I go on a retreat? No, forget it. I'm like, I should keep this because I need a thread to go on a retreat. You want the zipper piping and you I'm gonna give it to you, Alice. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be awesome. You have to be able to thread your serger though. So that won't be part of the class. You need to be able to thread your serger for a four thread overlock. All of that right there is a four thread overlock and that's that's it. It's the foot. It's the foot that makes it really, really special. Um, and then, you know, I can teach you how to turn corners and do all of that, that fun stuff. So um, after this, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order the zipper tape to put in with those kits for Shout Hooray. If you do want a Shout Hooray kit and you haven't gotten one yet, I ordered extra so you can still get yours. We're gonna give away another one of these sets. And this is gonna be the Sensa Madeira Thread. And uh, this is sewing thread. So, but it's made with Lyocell, which I have no idea what that is. But I think it says Sensa Green. So I think it's some kind of soft, sustainable, sensational thread. And um, this is for quilting and embroidery. So you can use it for embroidery. And I think the other thing that's kind of nice about it is it's not super shiny. So if you want something more with a matte look, so if you're looking for something where uh, you want to go maybe on a sewing retreat, wouldn't this be fantastic? You could just grab your thread and then you would be all set to do your sewing and your embroidery. Although, right, that's not enough colors. I know for me, I'm like, ooh, that green is just, it's not quite right. So, um, but yeah, a grab and go. Because I know I struggle packing for a quilting trip. And it would be nice just to grab something and just be able to go. That I, I don't like doing quilting trips because I don't like the packing. I find it too stressful. And then when I get back, I'm always like, I do like 10% of everything that I pack. So I'm trying to be smarter, but I don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out next year. So I'm going to give away one of these. And then we're going to give another away one another one of those quilt kits. So... Alice and Margaret, if you win, we'll find something else for you because I know you won these. So this is that quilt kit, which is so cute. It is um, Lori Holt. I'm still working on kitting after I get the cuties kits, and we're going to kit the, the Lori Holt stuff because I have the stuff for the quilt seeds, and that's going to be happening too. So this is the quilt kit. Another grab and go. What if you have a event or a quilting retreat or a sew along with your girlfriends, and you go, oh, look, I'm done. I'm going to grab my quilt kit. My quilt kit and I'm gonna grab my thread. So, um, and this is gonna have all your fabric that you're gonna need for this table runner. It's the weather vane table runner and a nice little skill builder. So, hope he's watching. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. No packing. I know it is, right, Sarah? So Zoom is great. Like when we first started, our ladies here um, that used to come to the store to, and some of you still wanna come in, Miss Gail Cram. Um, I know we need we need some room here. But um a lot they they were a little resistant. I would be resistant too, but it's you don't get that like total contact where you're walking over and sitting next to your friend and you know all of that. But um, we have a lot of ladies that have and gents who have gotten to know each other through the live feed, and you don't have to pack anything. You just show up. You just show up. And our rule is you need to be dressed from the waist up. Unless you're walking around this sewing room, then you need to be dressed from the waist up and the waist down. So, um, oh, look at that. So Heather looked it up. Sense of Green begins with cellulose, a renewable source acquired from trees grown in sustainable managed forests, which is transformed into biodegradable lyocell fibers. Does it degrade? I don't think so. I think it's going to last you. It's an award-winning product. I know you do always forget something. That's what I hate. And then I hate uh, when we went to on our Las Vegas trip, what did I work on? I brought something with me and I forgot thread. And so I had to go out and I had to buy thread. And um, uh, But it did lead me to the Golden Goose, which is like a beautiful quilt store down in Las Vegas. If you ever get a chance to go down there, it's it's beautiful. And... 
it's like a quilt, a, like a real quilt sir. That I don't think they do any machine embroidery. So you know, I walked around and I was like, and the, the work was beautiful. So if there was work that was embroidered, it was hand embroidered, and it was just absolutely fantastic. So and otherwise, I would have never had even made it out to go to that quilt sir because. I was too busy sewing. Oh, the question is, are you a sewist? Are you a embroiderer? Are you a bag maker? What genre would you say that you are in? Are you a craft sewist? Are you home decor? Are you, what they say is they say 80% um, the quilting market or the sewing market is 3%. And out of that 3%, so 3% of the population sews in the U.S. This is in the U.S. And out of that 3%, 80% are quilters or piecers, you know, that you're you're putting together quilts. And um, I can't remember the percentage that were like garment sews. It was really, really, really small. So I'd be interested to, to, in knowing what kind of sewing do you do. Um I have a feeling that, you know, we have a very, very heavy machine embroidery market uh, group, of, group of people that watch us. But, um, and we have a lot of piecers, quilters, and all of that. So um, what genre of sewing do you do is going to be the question. Now, don't answer it right now in the chat. You're going to be answering it over here in the comments. So answer it in the comments and do it afterwards. I don't have time, Brenda. I don't have time. That is the that is how it works. But, you know, I fit in what I have to fit in, and I get done what I have to get it done first. And um, someday I'll just, uh, I'll go back to, I started working here. Like, my, my story is I started working here because I wanted to teach classes. The first embroidery class I taught, I left on the J foot. I didn't even, <laughs> and I... I drove home going, oh my God, I have early onset Alzheimer's and I need to get rid of all my machines and I am not, I don't deserve to have a machine. I don't even know how to work them. That was like, I was, and I crawled into bed and I was so depressed. And then I was like, the next day I was like, maybe I can do it. Maybe I can teach. And, um, and I pulled my big girl pants up and I came back to the store and I tried it one more time but I was thinking I after that day I almost gave up because I was teaching a class I was so nervous and um, it was just an in-store class with somebody who had just gotten a machine and it was the stitching was horrible and I went over to Peter who owned this store at the time and I said something's wrong with the machine and he came over and he was so kind and he said oh you just have the wrong foot on. Changed out the foot for me, and then we were on our way, and that was the first class that I ever taught. And um, so someday I will resume teaching classes, and you know we have some moments in our classes too that aren't so great, um, but are okay. We kind of work through it. And, uh, and like, that's what I would really like to do is go back to like teaching classes again, but it's been so busy with everything else. So, um, yes, post in the comments after the live stream, we're going to give away the thread set and the little, the, uh, the, the quill kit. And I just want to know what type of sewist are you? Um, did you do the drawing from last week? Yes, we did the drawing from last week. And we did two drawings, and Sandy Sullivan won, and Celinda. Celinda won. So those two gals won. Um, I'll see you at the airport. Brenda, are you flying out same time as me, 6.50? <laughs> yeah, Netta, I have my moments. I have some great moments. I have some low moments, too. But most of the time, you guys are so understanding. You know that I am only human. Um, and I hope that you do learn and you learn from my mistakes. Like the other day I was talking so much that I kind of went into autopilot and I made a couple of mistakes and I showed you how to use the Kai seam, seam remover, which was great. Um, yes. Click thumbs up. Up there should be 64. I will have a great time in Vegas. I promise you, Violet and I will post a picture. 
I'm going to get to work right now because Ryan's going to be coming. I want to get some stuff ready. Patrick will not be in the store. I'm going to try and get in your, in your lane, Brenda. He will not be in the store until um, Thursday. So I will see you on Tuesday. I have never done the giveaway. So maybe Patrick can zoom in and we can do it together. And then we'll give the do the giveaway on Tuesday. If we don't give it, get it done on Tuesday, we'll do it when he gets back. And then we'll just have another giveaway the following day. So have a great time. Have a great weekend. I'm looking forward to being in Vegas. And hopefully we have lots of fun stories to tell you when we get back. And I will see you later.